The Grand River, like most rivers today, has a trash problem. Having the privilege to live by this beautiful river, I have the opportunity to take my kayak out and clean up what I can. Living in Spring Lake, which is downriver from both Lansing and Grand Rapids, there is no shortage of garbage pollution for me to clean up. The majority of litter, plastics, and styrofoam flow, making it relatively easy to spot. However, as grime and algae accumulate over time, the objects begin to sink. That is why it is vital to collect the garbage before it sinks below the surface. One can only imagine how much litter rests on the riverbed. While most of the garbage pollution in the river comes from storm drains, some of it comes from a lack of responsibility. Garbage has a tendency to wash up on shore, and while I can't collect the litter that ends up on private beaches, there are protected bird reserves that dot the Spring Lake watershed. This is also trespassing, but it's trespassing for the benefit of the natural environment that these reserves aim to protect. Pretty gross over here. I don't know, I don't know yet if I'm gonna walk on it, if it's even walkable, it might not be walkable. Um, right now I'm just gonna try to grab it from a distance, but eventually I'm gonna try to get on the island, so. It was nothing. No, 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 no. I'm sinking. I'm sinking. Alright, so the island isn't walkable, so therefore the trash is too hard to get. Um, which is really too bad because there's a lot of it. But uh, we're just gonna have to go on to the next spot. Luckily I found another island with more solid footing. However, there were passing boats, so I got a little wet. <laughs> My ass is soaked now. It's uh, really quite the beautiful island over here. Wow. It's got a water bottle. Hydrate. Hydrate or dehydrate, but you gotta recycle. You gotta recycle these. Look at this. Life finds a way. That's amazing. Um, I'm, I am, I do have to kill this light though. I can see the, uh, all the boaters looking at me. Good reason, I don't belong here. But, uh, neither does this trash. So, do what you gotta do. Oh shit, the sheriff. Alright, I should get out of here. The Spring Lake watershed is the last stop before the litter enters the fragile Great Lakes ecosystem, the largest body of fresh water in the world. Once it reaches Lake Michigan, it can end up in a variety of different places. Deep in the bottom of the lake, washed ashore on the beach, consumed by a bird or fish mistaking it for food, or even making a long journey to the ocean, where it will eventually become part of one of the growing garbage patches destroying our oceans. The river is a source of life not just for the animals who inhabit it, but for us as well. They are under attack by pollution, litter, and the escalating climate crisis. While the average person does not have the power to end pollution and climate change, minimizing the amount of trash that finds its way into our watersheds can be done. I encourage anyone who is interested in learning more on what they could do to resolve the plastics problem in their area to send me a message or simply subscribe to my channel for more videos on cleanup efforts.